Alright, I'm going to be doing a rant about the fan, uh, people who are saying that Duke Nukem Forever is terrible compared to, uh, I'm going to say this about that. Duke Nukem Forever is as terrible as, let's see. It's, in fact, Duke Nukem Forever is a decent game. Yeah, the load times are bad, but guess what? When you hop out from 12 different companies in 12 fucking years, there is going to be flaws. Come on, you can't say that... Uh, yeah, I know, y'all's hype for the game screwed y'all in the end. But guess what? You shouldn't have hype for the game. In fact... I'll tell you one game I had uh, uh, that I was falling for the hype for, and guess what? It let me down vastly. The modern wa fucking warfare games. I've actually tried them, and you know what? They fucking suck. And you know what? All you fucking fanboys that enjoy say that the modern warfare games are the greatest shit ever. I have an idea. You can go find a modern warfare convention and then go orgasm at that. Otherwise, don't bother. If you can't find a modern warfare uh, convention, then I guess it ain't the, the uh, fucking greatest fucking game on earth. There's comic conventions. There's anime conventions. There's video game conventions, but none of them, none, none of the video game conventions are solely around modern warfare. Hell, I don't remember seeing anybody cosplaying as a modern warfare guy. Yep, I don't remember any. I've seen Duke cosplayers. Hell, I've seen Halo cosplayers. I've seen Gears cosplayers. But none of the modern wolf. And besides that, in my last uh, review of The Darkness 2, I was going uh, getting off topic by going to saying that E.T. and Pac-Man crashed the video game industry in the 80s. Yet, Duke Nukem Forever didn't crash this, uh, the console market on the, uh, the uh, once it, after it got released. Must not have been that bad. Yep, definitely not that bad. And yet, I'm hearing, oh, this game is horrible, uh, Duke Nukem Forever is horrible. Horrible controls, two gun limit, regenerating health. Oh, he's being hypocritical. Guess what? Are the uh, old school Duke fan that says that, he, uh, that it was a piece of shit because of the, uh, the gu two gun limit, the regen health and all that? Or you're saying uh, uh, bad mouth in Duke Nukem Forever because you're saying that it was bad for women and, uh, and all that bullshit, which, guess what? Uh, and also the language, and guess what? Bulletstorm had bad language, yet it, uh, not many people were complaining about that as much. Let's see, what else was there? Oh, bad at for win? Anybody remember Resident Evil 4 and how Ashley was so fucking lame? That's right. I'm saying that Ashley from Resident Evil 4 was worse for the women than the, uh, the women Duke Nukem. And that's saying a lot. I'd rather be playing Resident Evil 2 than Resident Evil 4, even with Resident Evil 2's tank-like controls, bad graphics. But you know what? I don't care about graphics and the controls I can deal with. Wow. And, and if y'all saying that I'm doing this uh, I, uh, because I'm a Duke Nukem fan, um, check my review for Duke Nukem Forever. I gave Duke Nukem Forever a low score, lower than Modern Warfare franchise in general. And guess what? If I was such a Duke fan, 
Wouldn't you think I would have gave Duke Nukem Forever a high score? I think I would have. So don't complain. And let's see. I'm actually just trying to be fair and partial and I'm actually he's stating things with unclouded eyes. And yet, you fools are, who are hating me for say, uh, stating my opinion with m the facts that I have because y'all are um, being so foolish. The, in fact, I'll say this. The, you know how people are hating the games ha after Final Fantasy X? 11, 12, 13, and 14. I'll say this. Some of them aren't that good. Yeah. No. 13 2 is uh, trying to be Final Fantasy 12 with Chrono Trigger stylized complexities with some of it. Well, uh, and yet that ain't crashing the video game market either. Square Enix might go down because if they keep making the games like that, but I could see com a few gaming companies dying first. No, we might need a clash to get all the money grubbing companies out of the fucking way. Because we don't need the same fucking game released year after year after year after year after year after year after year. Am I saying it's a good thing? No. Am I saying it's a bad thing? No. I'm just saying we might need one. Hell, if the guys from the Hate Bit Podcast actually see my opinion about this, they might add me on it, but... Hell, if it does happen, it does, but... I'm stating this. The game industry will be crashing if it needs, because we need a purifying flame to eliminate the uh, bullshit from the uh, good. Hell, the the fact that the gaming industry is going to crash shouldn't surprise y'all. The fact that. We are going to have to deal with game companies making Capcom-like decisions. That's what you got to worry about. And, and y'all, I bet y'all are thinking Capcom makes shitty decisions. We all know that. Why are you surprised that I'm comparing everybody to that? We need the purifying flames of a crash, it seems. There are good games, but you have to pretty much go look in the indies instead of having to buy them from the companies, it seems, to actually find what's good and what's not. And if you, if you hate my opinion about this, I don't give a damn. Because, like I said, we need a purifying flame. To, com to cleanse the gaming industry of its shortcomings. We need it. And you know what? I personally wish it to happen. Because, hell, a lot of the games nowadays, yeah, they're great graphically. But we don't need a great gra graphic game at the sacrifice of great controls, great story, great, uh, great immersiveness. And yet, y'all are saying, oh, we want great graphics, we don't care about all that, uh, all the stuff that you talk Okay, go watch a fucking movie if you want great graphics. I want a fucking video game. And I, I don't want to be entertained by watching CGI. 
I want to fucking play a game.